Hello, YouTube family. I'm coming to y'all to tell y'all about uh, two different instances where I saw uh, UFO activity in my hometown. Well, I ain't supposed to say my hometown, but it's where I stay now. On two different nights, uh, I seen something that it almost, I thought it was a drone. But it would have been, if it had been a drone, it was, it would have been huge. And I thought about it, I said, no, nah. I said, this can't be no drone. And I thought maybe, you know, uh, the town that I was in, because we, because I'm stationed by a, uh, a fort, an army fort. And I thought maybe perhaps they might have been doing some, uh, uh, some drills or something like that. Or maybe even the police department sending drones over the area to check you know uh, for specific reasons but it wasn't so it was weird it, I was coming from work each time it, it happened twice and I seen something that it, it it hovered it just stayed right there and I looked up at it you ever feel like you know for those who have seen UFO um, activity and when they've seen a craft you ever feel like the craft is whoever's in the craft is you feel like a um, like they're looking at you specifically and like you could see up in the sky but you almost feel like it's a it's a connection there and that's the way it was with the first sighting uh, that we just about like a couple of weeks ago and then um, yeah, like I said, the first sighting, I thought it was a drone, but I say that's a huge drone if it is one, because I was like, if that drone, and, and it wasn't too far up in the sky, you know, like a distance above the clouds or, or below the clouds, it was real low to the ground. But if it had came to the ground, it would have been, it would have been huge. Like, a, uh, and I say drone because when I looked up in the sky, I, I think maybe I was lying to myself. I wanted, maybe something in me wanted it to be a drone, but it was just stationed right there in the sky. It was just hovering. It didn't move. It was just hovering. And uh, there were colors going around the UFO craft, uh, like red, blue, green. The lights, you know, appeared around the craft. And then the second time I was coming from work, I saw that craft again. And the only reason why I said drone, I think because maybe part of me didn't want to think that I've seen, you know, some UFO crafts because I've seen a UFO craft before. And um, the first one I saw, the first time I saw a craft and actually recognized that it was a craft, it started out as a ball of light. And then it turned into a craft and then it sped off in light and light speed. So, but anyway, um, the second instance I saw the craft again, it was in my area and I was looking, I was trying to look out the window. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can give me a little more coffee. Any more cream? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, so yeah, um, excuse me, I'm here at Denny's uh, fellowshipping in, in the word meditate in the word of God so anyway the second time I seen the craft um it was like the same craft and I wanted to pawn it off as a drone but usually you know a drone you could it, it, this this here hovered it, it's like it was looking over the area you know what I'm saying and I, I could feel the connection again so, I just wanted to share that with y'all that I experienced this, and you know what? You know, I, I'm not I'm not afraid of it. You know, some some people are afraid of the UFO crafts, but at this point, I'm not afraid because apparently God is allowing me to see something that I haven't seen before, and um, so I feel privileged that I am seeing it. Gotcha, man. And. Gotcha. Um, it was odd. It was real odd. And yet I felt privileged at the same time. You know, maybe maybe it may happen again. And maybe it may not. 
But um, I just wanted to share my experience and just let y'all know that there has been UFO activity going on. Somebody had made a comment that that if you are an unbelieving person, most likely you probably won't see um, random UFO crafts because the beings on it don't believe that you believe. Um, but my opinion is these beings been here for eons of time since God created angels and fallen angels. Um, I, I can't say whether these two crafts that I saw were a threat. I just noticed them. And like I said, I felt like a, a, the second time I I looked up and I felt the connection, but I think I was trying to avoid it because it was kind of weird. And uh, I said, well, maybe if I gave it too much attention, it'll focus on me and come down. And <laughs> I don't know what it would have done. But no doubt, I believe that some are uh, demonic entities, and I believe that some are angelic, uh, God's eye spies, you know what I'm saying? Angels that come down to take note of humanity and what's going on here. And the government have been trying to hide this for so many years. Uh, they can't hide it anymore because it seemed like the supernatural is about to collide with the natural to where our spiritual eyes have been closed, you know, um, for years and years. I, I know during our Enoch time, during Adam and Eve, angels and demons would show themselves. It was common for them to walk among us. And so God put a lid on that, you know, um, since then, since that flood, God still allow angels and uh, to be manifested and seen, but they're not as prominent uh, being seen like they used to. And e even the demons, they're, they're limited in how much they can appear. They have to be invited into the earth realm. They can't, they can't manifest unless it's something we've done to open up that portal. Uh, but I believe God did that for a reason to uh, to 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 because some people yeah, let's put it like this here the United States alone can't stand to see UFO objects they're ready to shoot it down um, and those that they're ready to shoot down it could have been a heavenly angel in, in those in those crafts. There have been times that there have been intervention in the United States over these bomb sites because United States, you know, has their trigger, has their hand on the trigger. So God has to place angelic forces around the United States to hinder some of the foolishness that's going on in high places among these leaders. But I just. I just wanted to share with y'all my experience. Um, it was, it was food for thought. Like I say, I thought it was a drone, but it wasn't a drone. Had had that craft came down, no doubt it would have been bigger. It, it would have been a, a big craft. Um, maybe the next video I share, I might, uh, uh, might take a picture and show y'all. Uh, get an example of maybe how far the craft was in the sky and come close to getting a pic that looks like what I saw. So anyway, y'all, um, remember to like, subscribe, and share. And um, I haven't gone anywhere. I'm still here. I'm still just studying. Uh, right now, I'm studying on... Uh, uh, the uh, the Hebrew Israelite study, and it's a beautiful study. Um, and even in studying on that, listen to the men and women of God speak on the black people of the United States being the black Hebrews. I like the fact that 
they discuss about UFO crafts and um, give clarity, you know, on the um, the angelic presence in some of these crafts. Not everything is evil, you know what I'm saying? Some of these some of these angels God has sent down to the earth to put us in check, you know. But all right, well I love y'all. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. All right, just wanted to share my UFO experience with y'all.